Yo guys, what's up? So today is the Universal Yums taste testing video. It's our third one. You guys are actually, a lot of you are asking about it, which I was really surprised about. We had a bit of a break due to school and stuff, but we're finally back in a different room because the other room is occupied. But today is exciting because we have snacks from, not an Asian country, we have snacks from Europe. This time from... Russia is Asian. Uh, well, it's part, it's both. Sort of. It's mostly it's, Asian. Okay, well, stop. So anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we got from Russia this time. As you can see, the tissue paper is in the shape of Russia, and we have the lovely little Russian book, which is exciting. You, you want to show to them? Just want to scroll through and turn the camera to show the the boys. Just, there you go. You can oh, see. it's not the light. There we go. It's focusing. There we go. All we want is the so all this As stuff. usual, Universal Yums sends you the pamphlet, like this little booklet with all the info on the snacks, what's in it, history behind it, which is awesome. So quickly before we start, if you guys are interested in buying your own box, please use my referral link in the description below or on screen right now. Just click on it and get your own box. It's really cheap and it's awesome. Every month you get snacks sent from you from a different place around the world. And we're really excited because this time it's Russia, which Russia's cool. And I'm sure the snacks are as well. So anyways, shall we get started? We shall. The tissue paper goes away. And we are introduced to an entire box of goodness. The big, the big ones always excite me the most yeah. because those are the, always the most tasty. But okay, so this can't read it. what is that? We can't read it, <laughs> but we're gonna eat it. <laughs> oh my god! This, like, look at these. These are huge. Like, first of all, this is a box of this is a, just the whole. It's just like corn on it. It's like corn on it. We have an entire thing of like an apple, it's like an apple pie of some sort. I don't even know. You know, what is, can't read these, but we're just gonna go through them. And anyway, we're, we're gonna place them all on the table and then you guys can like look through them. So first on the list, we have horseradish and Korokchi Holodets crispy breadstick flavored thingy bobbers. <laughs> this box, or bag. This is that Holodet is basically kind of like meat jelly. It's a meat jelly. But it's flavored. Flavored. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, you didn't like that? I thought that smells really good. That smells familiar. I'll just hand over a couple. I think these will be good. Meat, mm. horseradish, and meat jelly flavored breadsticks. Again, if you are from Russia, if you are a view Russian viewer, and you do recognize these snacks, let me know below and like any other history because that's always really cool to read about. Anyways, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh man. Wrong food. Oh. Where do we start? Terrible. It tastes like nothing. Yeah. Sort of dry your mouth out. Like there's flavoring, but... It may be because these have been sitting around for a little bit. They do have a bit of flavor to them, but... They're sort of just like... Imagine like a crunchy breadstick with a bit of like... Meat dish and horseradish flavor. <laughs> I think that's the best way to describe it, yeah. Not bad. All right, next up we have the baked milk wafers with chocolate glaze. These... Oh. But that's gonna be good. I think these will be good. There's, this is like really big for, compared to the US. I mean, mm -hmm. some things maybe, I don't know. I don't really know how expensive these are in Russia, but they look exactly, oh. <laughs> they look exactly like, I don't know, just like a wafer thing in the US, you know? Um, yeah. So I think we'll, we'll just split it in half. We'll chow down. It's like a, it's like a little Kit Kat with like. Yeah. You guys know. Three, two, one. Oh, good. It's exactly what you expect. It's a wafer. It's like Only thing different is the chocolate. It tastes a little bit different mm -hmm. than Was I guess it? American chocolate, but they're all right. No, I can't read this. <laughs> oh yeah, we can't read Russian, so we don't we really know anything else about it. Well, they're milk wafers, so it definitely tastes. It has, definitely has like the milk. Like it's a milky chocolate flavor. Cream. I'd say. Yeah, they're good though. I like those. Now we have the big bag. We have the vanilla corn puffs. Love the big bags because they're always exciting. Very nice. Looking through right here though. There's a cat with a motorcycle as a logo. Yeah. So you know it's gonna be good. I'm just, I'm just looking through this pamphlet and it says, um, what creature is on the package? It's a hamster. It's not a cat. It's a oh. hamster. <laughs> Why is he riding a motorcycle? He goes on magical adventures through Russia. We also looked this up. These things are huge. They're like tater tots. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. They're the size of tater tots. Look at those. They're actually really big. So they're vanilla flavored? 
Vanilla corn puffs. All right, let's try. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good. They are good. Oh my god. They like kind of melt in your mouth a little bit. They are. They're puffs. They're like cheese puffs, but vanilla flavored, and they melt in your mouth right away. Mm -hmm. So if you like vanilla flavored things, I don't really know if these are bad for you or not. Probably. But these are actually pretty good. It does look like a cat though. I'll give that a thumbs up. That was good. So now we've got the mini sponge cake. Now again, this has been in package for a while, so it should still be good. It should be fine. It's fine. It's, it's, fine. it's just a it's it's just a sponge cake with a strawberry, strawberry jelly flavor yeah. thing in the middle. I'm not a huge fan of pastries. Really? Or I'm not a huge fan of like stuff with jelly flavored things in the middle. You know? Yeah. If it's too much jelly, then I don't like it. Do you guys? I mean, I prefer like icing on the top and then like chocolate chips throughout the pastry. Like chocolate. I don't know, that's just me. Sometimes I'll bite into a huge thing of like, uh, just whatever sort of baked good and inside there's just like a squish. <laughs> and then like, jelly comes out and... I don't know. It's just like a little muffin. The tiny little muffin. It tastes, it smells exactly like a muffin. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. Okay, so, false advertising on the packaging. I think it looks huge in the yeah. packaging. I don't know, that's just me. Oh. oh. Mm. Okay, so it doesn't flow out. That's good. That's, it, it's just like that's sort of a respectable amount of jelly. It's just a it's a muffin with like a bit of jelly inside, pretty much. Three, two, one. It's a it's like a little Debbie muffin. And jelly inside. With a bit of jelly, it gives it a bit of flavor. I mean, it's good. Yeah, it's all right. The jelly gives it. If there weren't jelly in here, it would taste like absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. So at least the jelly tastes like something, or else these would be pretty bad. But they're all right. I think a few of these would fill me up, actually. Mm. I'm gonna save it for our parents. Didn't eat all of it. Okay, so now we will be opening the squishy thing we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And that is the orange fruit jelly in this pumpkin-like looking wrapper. So. <laughs> I was expecting that. Wow. Okay, well that just, okay. Okay, so. Do you want to you want to close up, open it so the camera people know. Okay, I'm not gonna look at it. Yet. I see a bit of okay. orange gleaming through. <laughs> I'm pretty terrified. Okay, let's focus it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, cool. Whoa, that's awesome. Wait, wait, open it up to the. Oh, okay. Give the people what they want. I'm sorry. Whoa. That is so cool. It's actually really pretty. It's like a, yeah, it's, it's like, like a- Sparkly. It's an orange, it's like a, it's like a little clementine. And all these little orange slices are individually put together. It's like a, it's a sugar candy, but it's formed in the shape of a little orange. I thought that these would, I thought this was going to be bad. This actually looks pretty good now. Cheers. That is really good. Mm. It tastes exactly like an orange too. Good. Really sugary though. Yeah, it's really sweet. Really sweet and sugary. If you can eat a whole thing of this, wow. Oh, I'm done after one slice. Yeah. It's good, but like I'm done after one slice. It's good, but four of these and you're overweight. It's alright though, that's cool. The, the best thing about this is how they set it up. Yeah. It could have been packaged with all these like flowing in a bag, but no. It's shaped like an orange. So now we're gonna try the Red October toffee. And apparently this was because a German immigrant came over to Moscow and helped create this. I like toffee. I've never had it before. Toffee is just like, it's like chewy caramel, I think. Uh. Sort of, I don't know. Oh, this has nuts in it too. There's a little piece for you. It's like, a, it smells like peanut butter. Ooh, it does. It's like, um, it's, it's like you opened up a Reese's cup and you're smelling the inside of a Reese's cup, except there's nuts in it too. <laughs> Three, two, one. Not feeling it? Not feeling it. It's like, um, it's okay. It tastes like peanut butter. Oh. But. I'm not following that. Really? You don't like that? No. Oh, spit it out in the trash can. I mean, normally, like, I like Get it together! <laughs> Jesus. I, I think it's okay. If I feel like I get sick eat, after eating the whole bar. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't even finish one bite. But if you like peanuts and. Coffee, I guess. If you're a big peanut butter fan, you'd like this, yeah. Okay, I thought it was okay, she wasn't a big fan of it. <laughs> so the next we're gonna do is a chocolate bar with ice cream filling. 
little baby on the front for some reason. <laughs> we are eating a baby flavored <laughs> chocolate bar. <laughs> baby ice cream, ice cream baby. Yes. So, okay, first of all, you can break it off into little pieces like this to share with your friends. If you have it. So yeah, it's a, it's a little like tan flavor or tan colored. It smells like a uh, Three Musketeers. It does smell like a Three Musketeers. Three Musketeers. All right, ready? I don't, I don't really taste the ice cream. I just taste the chocolate. <laughs> Me too. It actually really just tastes like a chocolate. chocolate flavored ice cream. Oh, the aftertaste. Okay. It's like a rich chocolate. It's actually pretty good. It's really milk chocolatey. It's, it's, it's a rich milk chocolate. And I think the flavor inside is almost like chocolate flavored ice cream as well. It's like three biscuits Yeah. <laughs> it's all right though. It's okay. Again, really filling though. I don't think I need a whole bar. Maybe mm -hmm. just a couple pieces. So the next one is this really interesting looking one. <laughs> it's... It's just huge pastry in a bag. It's Tula gingerbread. It's but it has an apple on it. Yeah. Oh, you'll get a taste of tradition with particular bread made from an age-old recipe and filled with apples, apricot, sugar, and honey. Oh, apples, apricot, sugar, and honey, which seems good. That seems really sweet. It does seem sweet, so let's open it up. It's like a monster. Let's try it out, ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. A little dry. No, I like it though. And it tastes better than I thought. That was good. It has a bit of a fruity flavor to it. Oh. And also there's a bit of, I think, icing something at the top. I'm not sure if you go all the way in though. There's, it's really oh. Sweet. Yeah, there's. Oh, actual filling. Yeah. <laughs> there's filling there. Which is obviously the apricot and the apple. Ooh, it was sweet without the filling. <laughs> Again, I'm not a huge filling guy, but maybe good. Tastes the same, pretty much. <laughs> it's very sweet, though. It is very sweet. I thought American stuff was sweet. <laughs> yeah, these are all been really sweet. Well, not all of them, but some of them. It's either really rich chocolate or really sweet. Yeah, yeah. I hope this isn't sweet. If this yeah. is sweet. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's okay. Um, all right, and last but not least, we have the one I was looking forward to the most, which is the salmon and cheese flavored. Oh, wow. Salmon is often baked with a thick layer of mayonnaise and cheese on top, mm -hmm. or it's made into a rich cheesy soup, or it's baked into breadsticks as is the case with this snack. Don't be alarmed that this unique salmon and cheese flavor comes as buttery and cheesy rather than fishy and strange. Wow. Okay, cool. All right, let's try it. So they're like breadstick things. It's like the whole side of one. Yeah. Oh, it's the exact same thing. I think these are, these are gonna taste good. I love like weird flavor. It smells like butter. It doesn't even smell like fish. Okay, three, two, one. It's butter. Butter. <laughs> mm. Oh, cheese. those are good. And then the cheese comes in. You get the butter, then you get a mm. cheese. Oh, then the cheesy. Those are really good. I'll tell you what. There's like no salmon in that one. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The aftertaste is kind of salmony. Yeah. If these weren't so like crunchy and sort of like melt in your mouth a bit more, these would be like one of my favorite snacks. You taste the butter, you taste the cheese, and the aftertaste is a bit salmony. Mm -hmm. Which. It's strange. It's not fishy, but it's just like Yeah, sandwich. it's not a bad taste. I probably have bad breath right now, but not bad. All right, guys, so that's it for today's video. If you guys liked it, make sure to drop a like and a comment. Do appreciate you guys watching these. Thank you again to Universal Yum for sending us the box. We'll have another one out in probably in a couple weeks, I think. We have another box waiting. Um, anyways, if you guys do want to buy yourself a box, they're really cool. We'll get them every single month. Really not that expensive either. Link below to use my referral link. really helps me out. And... Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being on again. No problem. Make sure to drop a like. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.